guys, Star from Sweet Sense from the Dollhouse. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning Lassie, as always, welcome back. Be sure to smash that subscribe button as well as the bell for future no content notification. I usually do a daily home fragrance vlog. <clears throat> I'm bringing you another Super Tarts haul today. Um, I don't even know which number it is offhand. Can you guys hear Ella yelling? That is a Canadian toddler just going absolute nutty over spring weather. Can you hear that? <laughs> I don't even know what she's yelling about out there, but she's so happy to be outside getting some vitamin D. Super, super awesome. So, um, you'll know what Super Tarts haul this is, the number on it. Um, I have been melting like crazy and you see Super Tarts empties in my videos all the time, but look at, I don't know if you can see this, it's, this crate is full to the top of Super Tarts, so I have a Super Tarts haul in this video, as well as a D-stash coming up, I need a new bin, because that's just insanity, <clears throat> I order from Super Tarts once a month, usually, unless there's a pre-order, so this is my clam, Haul for the month of April. Um, I think there's one, two, three, four, five. Five of these scents are going to be repurchases, and the rest of them are new to me scents. Um, because I've been hauling from Super Tarts, well, not necessarily a while, but when I do place orders, I place very large orders because I live so far away and have to drive all the way there to get them. Um, henceforth, I tried a lot of scents, kind of have an idea of what I love, um, as well as the Super Tarts is always exciting. Like there's scents that people talk about, but they haven't been available on the website for a while. So I think the collector in me is kind of rearing her ugly head because I want to collect them all and I want to try them all, which is brilliant on Super Tarts behalf. So, this is uh, a repurchase for me. This is Super Tarts, um, one of the Tot Tart collection, SPK, which is Shopkins, Wildberry Mousse, Frosted Cupcake, and Pink Sugar. So I grabbed two of those. I do love this scent. Um, it's amazing, but as far as Super Tarts is concerned, this is a light Super Tart scent which would still knock most people on their butts if they're used to like sensationals or scentsy. Um, this is still super strong, all things considered, but I think it's light for super tarts. So that was a repurchase. Love, love, love that one. Another one that I repurchased was uh, Dumbledore because the wizard wax gets picked over quite quickly. It's a rather large set and it doesn't get restocked often. I wanted to pick up another one of this, uh, Apple Slices, Pink Chiffon, and Blue Cotton Candy. I love um, Bath & Body Works Pink Chiffon. It's just got this little emblem stamp in there, but rather plain wax. The SPK is interesting. It's got, um, sorry I didn't show you, it's a cupcake in bed. But every clam I've bought of the SPK so far, the cupcake sinks in so you can't oh this one you can see it a little bit you get the gist so Dumbledore was a repurchase what else was a repurchase once upon a time Ooh, love this one this is serendipity ice cream scoop bread and marshmallow serendipity is one of my favorites and I do like uh, super tarts ice cream scoop bread. I love this one. Oh, it's amazing. Got a little stamp in there that says once upon a time and it's got the mica glitter in it, which isn't as annoying as the big chunky glitter. And lastly, I purchased a sidekick pan of this, not knowing I actually needed a skid of it. Super Tarts Casper is toasted marshmallows, vanilla bean Noel, cornbread, and Mexican fried ice cream. This is deadly. 
Like, if you tried Sensi's fried ice cream, oh, man, you have no idea. Try Casper. Trust me. It's amazing. Oh, look how cute that is. A little ghost in there. Love it. Happy to have two of those. Casper's also in the Tot Tarts collection, if you're interested. I will also put the Super Tarts link down below. What else do we get? Out of the game of tarts, so these are all new to me since, I ordered White Walkers. This one I've heard people talk about. People either love it and order it in band bags and super pans, or they don't like it and say it's super light and doesn't throw. Um, by super tart standards, of course. This is Spearmint, Peppermint, Fresh Mint Leaf, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Obviously not something I'd be melting in the midst of summer. Um, like the absolute first thing that I could think of is that this smells like the dentist to me. What the hell? Spearmint, peppermint, fresh mint leaf, and vanilla bean noel. Have you ever had like fluoride treatment for your teeth where they put like that goop in a tray and you sit there and bite on it and drool? And it's just like this creamy minty gook sliding down the back of your throat? That's what this reminds me of. It's not terrible. I would melt this in the winter time, but it smells like the dentist office. Yeah, I don't know about this. And I can understand why people say it's light. I would never purchase that in a large quantity, but again, I shouldn't judge anything without warming it first. New to me, scent in the same set, Game of Tarts, Mother of Dragons, Satsuma, and Sweet Pineapple. Hello, perfect summer scent. I'm trying to order some stuff to melt during the summer, but I'm Canadian, so we don't really spend a lot of time in the house because we only have, you know, 72 days of decent weather. This is two-toned wax. But maybe I will melt wax at night. Ooh. Wow, that's interesting. I, I just, I'm finding that these Satsuma blends, because the sweet pineapple is so powerful, it kind of morphs into a very unique scent. You can definitely tell that they're both in there, but in turn, it turns it into something very unique. Wow, I really like that one. That one's... I might even cut those cubes in half. That is wicked strong. Um, these Adventure Melts... Let's see... I think I now have the entire collection. I had Lady Rainicorn that I ordered or received through a D-Stash, and they just so happened to have restocked it. Um, I ordered this April 3rd. They had the entire set, so I was like, yay, I get to finish the set. Um, I've also been looking for a kitchen lemon. I recently uh, filmed my March pre-order where I got Lucky Lemons, which is a nice, really creamy lemon, but I'm looking for Knock You On Your Ass Kitchen Lemon. I've heard Lemon Grab does that. This is Tart Lemon Drops, little, 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 Tart Lemon Drops, Sugar Crystals, and Cotton Candy. I'm so excited to have the whole Adventure Melts collection. Yellow, and is that black? Two-toned wax. Holy Hannah, I think that is my kitchen lemon that I've been searching for. Lemon grab is strong. Oh, wow. Tart lemon drops. It's, uh, trying to, it's almost borderline lemon cleaner on cold. We'll see how it does when it's warming. So again, these are all new to me since I've, aside from, what was it? 
I'm going to put them separate. So these were repurchases. And all these are going to be new to me since. Next one is Ice King Blue Raspberry Jolly Ranchers Whipped Cream and Red Raspberry. Sounds like a pretty decent spring summer scent. Oh. It's a two-tone wax with an adorable little penguin on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that smells awesome. I think my daughters are really going to like that one. Blue raspberry and red raspberry. I think whipped cream is mostly just a blending scent, but I definitely get equal parts blue raspberry and red raspberry. That one's nice. That one would also be good blended with like a vanilla bean noel or vanilla wafers. You could do so much with that one. Flame Princess is tangerine, toasted marshmallows, and fizzy pop. I'm trying to amp up my fizzy pop scent selection. Ooh, that's nice. I get the tangerine and definitely fizzy pop. I think toasted marshmallow just kind of creams it out, makes it a little bit more subtle, but it's still super powerful. That one's very good. I think these are great summer scent collection. Bubblegum, cotton candy frosting, and strawberries. So far, I've called some fresh pick strawberry scents, but this is just strawberries, so I thought I would try that oil. And there's a bubblegum machine on the inside. Super cute. Hmm. On cold, I don't get a lot of the strawberry. Another reason why I ordered this is because I want to do a bubblegum wax wars. So that will be definitely a good one for wax wars. The last one in the Adventure Melts collection is Lumpy, which is marshmallow fluff, purple cotton candy, and strawberry. How cute is that? Honestly, like, I want to go work at Super Tarts. I want to be the one that puts these little stars in the clamshells or stamps them or... And she, Brandy wouldn't even have to pay me. She just paid me in wax. I would be the happiest person on the face of the planet. And I would just work like an Oompa Loompa in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. But it would be Sarah at Super Tarts. This one is so strange. This is the very first Super Tarts clamshell that smells like wax to me. And if you've watched my channel for a while, I've hauled a hell of a lot of Super Tarts and I'm not getting anything out of this. Marshmallow fluff, purple cotton candy, and strawberry. On cold, it smells like they forgot to put fragrance oil in this. <laughs> I'll melt it and see if something comes up, but that is hilarious. This is the first Super Tart scent I've had that smells like nothing. Bizarre. Okay. Oh, shoot. I lied. I lied, I lied, I lied. I just saw this now. This is a repurchase. This is Gollum, which is the Omen blended with sweet blackberries. Oh, my Lord. You have to get Gollum and Brody's Bounty. Brody's Bounty is the Jaws version of this. Jaws and Blackberry, Gollum is Omen and Blackberry. I would buy both of them by the arm load. This one is gorgeous. So, there. That's a repurchase. These ones are new. Uh, because I love Jaws so much, as well as Omen, this one's perfect. Silver Surfer is the Omen blended with Jaws. Wow, I don't know how they do that. It literally smells like equal parts omen and jaws. <laughs> That's so funny. 
Sometimes I'll sit and I'll look in my super chart spots and go, what am I in the mood for? Jaws or Omen? Uh, I need 20 of these. I just need to order Silver Surfer from now on and not order anything from the Omen or the Jaws collection. And I can have the best of both worlds in one coin. Speaking of Jaws, I've never tried it on its own. And finally, I was on the site and it was available just straight Jaws. Wow. I think I like just the plain jaws the best out of all the ones I've tried so far. That's great. Some people don't like jaws. I'm like, what? How could you not? It smells so good. Um, these two are from the, what is it? Wardrobe wax collection. A lot of them at the time when I ordered were sold out. Um, but I'm definitely going to go back and check it out. This is Prince Caspian, which is sandalwood, fresh picked strawberries, and peonies. Ooh, sounds amazing. Oh, man, that is definite repurchase for sure. That's gorgeous. And Edmund, which is Grape Airheads and Serendipity Marshmallow Fluff. I don't know how I feel about the Grape Airheads, but I love the rest of it. Same kind of messy wax. That's interesting. It's um, definitely equal parts Serendipity and... Grape Airheads or Grape Candy. I'll have to see. Hopefully the Serendipity note will come out a little bit more when melting. But if you like Grape Airheads or Grape Bubblegum, Grape Candy scents, you'd like that one. Um, yes, this is another one I've put in my basket a million times and then taken it out, put it back in. So I thought this time, screw it, let's just get it and try it. Rose Jam, Peppermint, and Leather Bound Books. Jess. That sounds like a whole heck of a lot of really dominant scents. That sounds interesting, right? Rose Jam, Peppermint, and Leather Bound Books. That's what the inside looks like. Um... Imagine, like, no, I was going to say Sensi's Weathered Leather, but I don't like that. It, does, it doesn't, ugh. If you've ever um, purchased a brand new saddle or, like, the bridle and stuff for a horse, that's what it smells like. It smells like very expensive, rich leather. I don't get rose jam, and I get just the teeniest hint of peppermint on cold, but that could all change once it's warming. That is very unique. I really, really like that one. Oh, how rude of me. I forgot to tell you which sample I got. <laughs> With this order, the sample was Jackal. Mm, I've had this in... Um, as samples before. Jackal's Blackberry Preserves and just bakery, all sorts of goodness. I've been waiting. I haven't seen Jackal on the website since, oof, maybe even like Christmas time. I can't wait till that one comes by. I would order Jackal in like three or four at a time. I was in the mood for some rose jam and just, just didn't did it. Just didn't did it. Ugh. I need some sleep. Also, my friend sent me some Sassy Girl Aroma from California. My favorite, Amber, she's a doll face. And it was Sassy's um, apples with Lush's Rose Jam. So I thought maybe I enjoyed that one so much that this one would be similar. The Bodyguard is Mac Apple and Rose Cream. Ooh, 
very similar. Amber, this is very, very, very similar, but um, creamier, not as tart. That one is super romantic. Actually, these two would probably go amazing. Not together in the same warmer, but if you warm the bodyguard and Jess, that smells all sorts of sexy time to me. Uh, out of the Taut Tarts collection, I was super excited to see this one available again. It was also available in the most recent Super Pan Sidekick Bam Bag order. It's the Great Pumpkin. This is Pecan Bars, Frosted Pumpkin Donuts, and Raw Sugar Crystals. How gorgeous. Two-tone wax. And there's a pumpkin embed in there, but it tends to sink when they do the overpour. Still super cute. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, why didn't I order a super pan of this? I think I got this in a band bag. Did I get it in a band bag or a super pan? I can't remember, but that, um, my April pre-order will be coming up in the next couple weeks. That is amazing. Trust me, guys, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to hurry. So these ones are from the Hunger Games set. Gail, which I've heard nonstop good things about, from Sasha Isms, which is one of my favorite YouTubers. This is Campfire uh, ANF Fierce Cologne type with a sweet undertone. Another one that's supposed to be super sexy. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. No wonder this one is always sold out. That is phenomenal. If this ever came out in a super pan, $27 American, I would order three of them. That is hot. This is also one, I know some people order super tarts and melt it right away. This is a teeny tad light. I think I might save this one for another month or two and really let the wax cure before enjoying that because I think that one, once cured properly, will chase me out of the house in a good way. This one is the New Girl Violet Sweet Lolly and Cupcakes. Sounds adorable. Got a really cute bicycle and there's like a basket with flowers up here and I can probably not blah, blah, blah. probably can't see it. Oh that one's really pretty. I get mostly violet and sweet lolly. Perhaps that bakery cupcake note will come out more when it's warming, but this is really nice. I watch a ton of Kim Hart's organizing's channel. She always talks about Super Tart's Office, which is Vanilla Bean Noel, Sugar Cookies, and World's Best Boss Coffee. Had to try it. So cute. Oh, wow. That's so good. If you haven't ordered from Super Tarts yet and you're curious, um, I search from what I'm in the mood for. So go to the search engine and I write Blackberry and everything that's available with Blackberry and it will pop up. Or if you click on products from the home page, it will take you and there's a bunch of other things that you can click on. Click coffee and it will show you all of the available coffee, latte, um, Starbucks, world's best coffee, the, you name it, she has about 28 different coffee fragrance oils and blends them with a million different things. Amazing. I, I can't tell you how much I love this vendor. And just every month I'm like, I have no problem spending 200 bucks on this vendor. It's amazing. And look how much wax you get. I can't even, why don't they put bloody totals on this? When 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 clamshells. My Super Tarts clam orders are usually 20 clams or more just because I have this whole theory to justify paying 1380 American for shipping. I need to order tons. But this is, um, even once I do the conversion, maybe like 160 bucks Canadian for all this wax that will last me forever compared to certain companies who have decreased the amount of fragrance oils by one, you know, put their fragrance oils down to one third and increase the price of the clamshells by 33%. Uh... I don't know. It's not rocket science. I would rather purchase from this company, which is half the price and a hundred million times stronger, if you know what I'm saying. The last two were from the, um, oh, what the heck is it called? The Hunger Games. Um, this is President Snow. I've heard people talk about this one too. It's peppermint cream, white rose, and vanilla ice cream. Look how cute this is. Uh, that one's nice. Why does it kind of smell like new shoes, though? Have you ever smelled like brand new tennis shoes? Kind of plasticky. I don't know. Maybe this one needs time to cure, too. Or I just need to melt it. That's interesting. I think I've seen this available in large quantities too, so I need to give this one a chance and melt it because I think it might be good. And the last one is Rue, which is bedtime bath, baby powder, and magnolia blossoms. That sounds gorgeous for a bedtime melt. Look how cute that is. Oh, hell yeah. I would order brew in a super pan. This is what I want Ella's room to smell like forever. That is beautiful for a nursery. If you like, um, it's nothing like Sense's newborn nursery, but if you're into soft, powdery scents, brew is definitely for you. That bedtime bath is um, Johnson & Johnson fragrance oil. Um, basically lavender and chamomile. Add baby powder and magnolia blossoms. Oh, my friend Carrie, Carrie, if you're watching this, you need to do a super tarts haul and order 50 of these. I promise you, I would never steer you wrong. You are going to die. If you haven't tried this one yet, I'm driving one over to you. You got to try that. So that's it, folks. That is my April clam haul from super tarts. I have no idea what number it is as I'm recording it. But once again, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.